Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, let's uh, talk about something that um, someone asked a question today, and obviously it's um, a question that I've had also in the past. I don't remember if I have um, done a video in the past talking about it, but anyways, one of the questions that I got today is about hard shutdown. So we talked about you know, turning on, turning off PCs, and even if it runs 24 hours a day or it runs, you know, um, one hour, then you shut it down and then you turn it on again and so on. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the um, the average lifespan of PCs is long and, and electronics are pretty tough. Um, so, you know, there's really no answer of what you should do here. It's whatever you do is fine. But art shutdowns. Art shutdowns is you're doing something on your PC, whatever, and suddenly it freezes. It will happen to most of us at some point, someday in time. Um, you know, I've had my PC that I'm using here for the videos for a year and a half now. It happened once. In one year and a half, once, for some reason that I have no idea, it froze. And I had to hard shut down, which means what you do is you press the power button until it just shuts down. Or in the case of a desktop, maybe you just pulled the power cord so that the power, you know, shuts down the PC because you cut the power. Um, and so what are the dam damages that this can do? Um, is, is that something that can damage the hardware? Is that something that can damage part of the system? Uh, can it break your computer? Well, the simple answer to this is, first of all, it will never break your computer, really, because it is going to start up again once the power is back. It is not something that damages the computer in itself in hardware. So even if you shut it down, force shut down, does not break anything. But it can actually create a problem in the operating system. And why that is... And it's twofold. It depends also on the hardware you have. In the case of a modern PC with a solid state drive, the damage that can be done is simply that if the PC was writing to your computer, to your hard drive, something important that has to do with the hardware, with the system, with the with Windows itself. Say it was writing files. You were installing a new you know, a software, a piece of software, it froze. You were installing a Windows update, it froze. Now, that could cause a problem because it did not complete the process. You stopped it right in the middle. So the incomplete files, the uh, maybe a file is just half written because you shut it down while it was actually writing something and it just shut down halfway through. It can actually damage Windows and prevent you from starting again with Windows. Now, there's, of course, different things that can help, like, you know, check disks to... Make sure that you check the file system and so on and that the files are okay. Sometimes it comes back, but that is the biggest probability is there, is simply um, half-written data can possibly break Windows. It still doesn't break your PC. What's going to happen is it, if that happens, you just reinstall Windows and your PC is going to be back to working order without any problems. It's just really that the missing files or the corrupt files left behind can prevent Windows from actually being able to run. On an older PC with an old magnetic hard drive, it could be even worse because a magnetic hard drive, when you shut it down, if it was writing, when you shut down, one of the things that happens is that your the heads of the hard drive actually go uh, in the park zone, which is the safe place where all the heads will actually go and stop as to not cause any damage to the platters on the hard drive. Well, two things can happen here. If it was writing something, the shutdown of the uh, power, the hard drive still spinning, and the very fast movement of the um, read-write head over the platters while it goes to the park zone can actually splatter for a short moment um, magnetic bits here and there as it was writing. So it can corrupt other files further away on the hard drive in the platter. 
not impossible. Once again, the only thing that it will cause, like on an SSD, is Windows won't start up. Windows will reboot all the time. Windows will freeze when it starts up or do blue screens of death. Once again, the thing that you can do to fix that, you install Windows. But for the rest, it won't damage the hardware itself if you do a hard shutdown. Um, the worst that can happen, you'll have to reinstall Windows. The only place where something bad could happen, and we're going to deal with that in the next video, is uh, firmware updates and stuff like that. So we're going to talk about that in the next video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.